Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another advent calendar unboxing. In today's video we are unboxing the L Beauty Advent Calendar for 2022. The value of this calendar is over £755 and the cost is £175. Now I actually got this for £140 because I signed up to the waiting list. So the date went on sale, I got an email and I was able to purchase it at £140. So it's definitely worth signing up to the wait list for any calendars that you might like for next year when it comes around again because um, sometimes you get a bit of a saving so you might as well. If you're paying £175 there is a 77% saving. There are 27 products inside in total and 12 of them are full size. You also get a one year digital subscription to Elle magazine. They've done this every year and I've never actually gone on and looked at it so I had one last year but I just never used it. Um, but yeah. So this is the calendar unboxing today. I've had this for the past this is the third one. So I've had it in 2020, 2021 and now 2022 and I've always loved this calendar. I've always been really impressed with it. I think it's a great price point as well. Not the most affordable but not at the higher end either. So it's kind of like it sits in the middle and I think for that price there's a really great range of products. So yeah, I'm hoping this one will be just the same. Now if you do like these kind of videos and you are excited to see what is inside this advent calendar please give this video a thumbs up and also hit subscribe and let's dive into it. So the design this year is completely different to the previous two years. The last two years we've had a calendar which it was a little bit taller, open like a book, and then you actually had to rip open the cardboard and then like prize the products out, which was quite difficult. Um, all the other advent calendars that I unboxed, well, most of them are in boxes or drawers, so I think they've actually listened and they've given us drawers, which is what we like. So that was the 2019 and 2020 advent calendar. The 2021 advent calendar, we did actually get drawers, but it was a much bigger calendar, really big, really bulky, and they weren't that like, easy to open. This year they've gone for a much smaller design. Um, doors are easy to open and it just looks more compact and easy to get the products out, so yeah, that's good. Oh, we've got a little booklet here as well. I'm guessing this will tell us about the products inside. Oh, we've got 28 Beauty Favourites packed by L. The website said 27, so that's good. So inside here we've got the list of the products and the RRPs. Oh, and a little bit about them. Okay. That makes everything easier. But yeah, so the calendar this time I've gone for this kind of smaller design. I've gone for the red and the pink. This is magnetic as well on the front. The doors open just like this. And then we've got 25 drawers inside. So let's dive into it then and start with day number one. So as with all these calendars that have had these drawers that pull out, We've got the number on one side, on the back it is plain, um, but we've also got the cutout as well, so you can easily turn it around and you can still open the drawers, which means you can reuse this after Christmas is finished. It's not really a Christmassy design, so it's not a screaming advent calendar. You can use it for storage, um, to put your makeup in or jewellery or something like that. Uh, yeah, okay, so day number one then. We've got a product from Mother. Never heard of this brand. This is the number one serum, 15ml. Oh, interesting. So this is what the packaging looks like. Nice and minimalist. Says mother. Uh, number one, serum. Let's have a look in here. So this is 15 mil. It's worth 61 pounds. That's insane. Uh, it says, some serums hone in on specific skin needs, but this one makes everything better by protecting, hydrating, and repairing in one dose. That sounds really, really good. Let's have a look at the bottle. Oh, I like the way this put that inside. A little bit different. Uh, wow, that bottle looks really nice. So that's what it looks like. Yeah, £61. That's insanely expensive. Off to a great start. Okay, on to day number two at the top. And in day number two, we've got a product from Bobbi Brown. It's the Longwear Cream Shadow Stick um, in the shade Golden Bronze. So that is the packaging. I really like these shadow sticks. So this is worth £15 and this is the colour. Really nice. So it's just like a bronzy colour. Yeah, I really like these. They are so, so easy to apply. That's what the colour looks like. Um, you just literally draw on your eyelid and you can blend it out either with your finger or with a makeup brush and it's just such an easy makeup look. It takes seconds to actually apply and you've got a full eyeshadow look. And yeah, I really like those. Um, I always set them with some translucent powder over the top as well. Um, or you could put another eyeshadow colour over the top, maybe like a sparkly colour or something. But yeah, that's really nice. I like that. Okay, day number three at the top in the middle. And we've got a product from Evita. This is the Botanical Repair Strengthening Leave-In Treatment. And there's 25 mils here. 
So this is worth £9 and you apply it through damp hair, don't rinse it. So it's something that you apply after you've shampooed and conditioned your hair, when you towel dried it, just pop a little bit of this in before blow drying, before letting it dry or whatever you want to do that afterwards. Um, yeah, I've used this before, it is really nice, I do like it, it's like a cream kind of product. And on this little booklet it says, for hair that is sun heat or just life damage, this is magic. It helps to heal breakage and prevent further harm by shielding against heat styling. So yeah, really, really nice product and yeah, I like that product. Nothing new but a nice product. Okay, number four up here. Well, this is a big product. And we've got a product from Murad. We got this in last year's, I think, calendar, I remember. This is the Intense Recovery Cream 50ml. This is a full-size product. And this is actually quite pricey as well. This is £72, it's a full-size. Super expensive. Murad is such a gorgeous skincare brand. I've not actually used their products for quite a while now. I really like them. So this is what it looks like, really, really big pot, super expensive. Um, you apply it morning and night, massage over, clean face, neck and chest and gently pat around the eye area as well. Soothing moisturiser for your face and eyes. This is really, really nice for winter when it's a little bit colder, when your skin just needs that little bit of extra hydration and an extra layer of protection. The booklet just says, cold weather and central heating can suck the life from your skin. Treat it with this rich cream, which also helps to calm inflammation and redness. So yeah, perfect for winter. Really nice product for December. Okay, day number five is up here. Poking out. Okay, day number five, we've got a product from Ico. Black Magic, but it's not the liquid eyeliner. This is the Coco Edits. It's a pencil eyeliner. I actually got this in a magazine, like not long ago. And um, this is the packaging. So it just looks like an eyeliner pencil. It's like a brown shade because it's the Coco Edit. Um, so they've got the pencil crane on one side and on the other side, we also have a little sharpener and we also have a little smudger as well. You just take the little cap off there and you've also got a smudger. So perfect for under the eyes and um, yeah, makes a change, it's not black, nice brown eyeliner. This is one of the full size products and it is worth £16. The booklet just says, this may have you swapping your black liner for this deep brown shade. Softer and subtler, it gives definition without being too much. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that. I haven't actually tried my other one yet. Okay, day number six is here. Oh, this one's stuck. I am got a bit stuck there, but this is what it is. So it is my Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, and my favorite. This is the 75 mils. This is worth around 20 pounds, I think. Yep, yeah, 20 pounds for this one. This is such a gorgeous cream. If you've watched my videos before, you'll know I love this cream. Uh, really, really nice body moisturizer. It smells incredible. The booklet says, not only does this rich cream leave your skin super soft, it also contains caffeine to tighten and Brazilian nut oil for an added glow. It is so nice. I love it. So yeah, really, really pleased to have this in here. It has appeared in quite a few, I think, candles this year, but I like that. I'm, I'm topping up. I'm going to have a little collection by the end of this. Okay, day seven, down here. Okay, in day seven, we've got another full-size product. is the Evelum Rescue Mask 50ml. Now, this is classed as one of the full sizes, but you do actually get this in a bigger size as well, which is also a full size. So I think it's because they do sell it at this size. Um, so this is a face mask, and this is £40. It says it contains purifying honey-infused cowling clay. It hydrates skin up to 72 hours after use, and it's skin refining. I've not actually used this one before. Um, I've just received a full-size one in the Molly Mae Cosmetics box. Um, it says, if you have overindulged this party season, this mask could be your new best friend. Honey infused clay helps to decongest, ground almonds, gently exfoliate and glycerin softens. So yeah, it sounds really, really nice. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't smell like the cleanser because I really don't like that smell. But I will probably still use it anyway because it's got five ingredients so it'll be great for the skin. Okay, day number eight up here. And oh, we have a mask of some sort. Let's pop that back in there. So this is the Shiseido Vital Perfection Uplifting and Firming Express Eye Mask. Oh, this looks really nice. I've never tried a Shiseido eye mask before. So it's just one set of eye masks that you pop underneath your eyes. So this is what it looks like. So on the back there, you can see the picture on the top. They do look quite big actually from that picture. Um, I could just put the picture though. So this is one mask. It's worth £11.33. Oh, it says two patches. I think that's just one for each eye, so one set of masks, I think. Uh, the booklet says, revive tired looking eyes with this revitalizing mask, packed with hydration and line smoothing vitamin A, great for faking eight hour sleep. So vitamin A is a retinol ingredient. Yeah, it has retinol in it, um, that's fab. So perfect around the eye area, smoothing those fine lines and wrinkles. Um, it says, apply your moisturizers before the mask. It's your final skincare step. Interesting. 
It says for daytime follow with sunscreen and the sheet is reversible. I've never used a MAC on top of my moisturiser, it's always before moisturiser. So that's a little bit different. I'm interested to try that. Yeah, sounds really good. I love a good mask. Okay, day number nine down here. And I've got a little miniature. Oh, this is from Revive and it's the Revitalising Eye Mask. We've just got an eye mask and now we've got another eye mask. But this is different. So this looks like a tiny little one. Oh my goodness, five mil is 25 pounds. This is worth 25 pounds, that is crazy. So this just says, packed with hyaluronic acid, this eye mask targets and smooths the skin around the eyes, leaving it looking revived and refreshed. That sounds nice. Doesn't sound anything like super wow, super fancy. Um, you know, hyaluronic acid is a very common ingredient. Um, but yeah, I'm expecting really good things from this. If that's 25 pounds for that tiny little amount. Uh, yeah, a little tiny tube. Yeah, nothing, nothing unusual. Hmm. Oh, I'll give that a go. Um, not sure I've got two eye masks, you know, the day after each other, but there we go. Okay, day number 10 is up here. Oh, we've got another full size product and this is from Bare Minerals. This is the Endless Summer Bronzer in the shade Warmth. Oh, look at that. That's the shade on the top. I've never tried this. I love Bare Minerals. So this is at 26 pounds. Let's have a look at the shade. So this is what the outside packaging looks like. And then, that is the shade. Really, really nice shade. That's not too dark, but it's dark enough to like contour, give you a bit of color. I really like that, that looks so nice. I love the fact that it comes with a mirror as well. Um, yeah, lush, I'm really, really pleased with that one. The back of the packaging just says, it's a mineral-based powder bronzer. It provides instant natural looking warmth while blurring the look of pores and infections. It's formulated with a gradual glow complex to build a bronzed, sun-kissed look over time. Universally flattering colour with a soft matte finish. That sounds really nice. I like that. Bare Minerals as well is vegan, gluten-free and tree nut-free. Uh, Non-communogenic. I like it. That's something really different as well. Have we seen any Bare Minerals in a calendar this year? I think last year we got lots of the serums, but this year I don't think I've seen them. So yeah, that's nice. Okay, day 11, it's down here. Oh, another big product. So this is a full size product from U Beauty and it's the resurfacing compound 15 mil. This is worth 85 pounds. Absolutely crazy. That is the outside packaging. It is all sealed up, so I'm not actually going to open this and get the bottle out just yet because I'm, I'm not gonna open it and use it just yet. Um, but it says, apply one pump morning and night, um, a top clean skin, massage and gently and finish with a moisturizer. So use it like you'd use a serum. It says avoid applying oil based products beneath the resurfacing compound because oil can inhibit its absorption and cause pilling. Good tip. Yeah, why is it so expensive? What's so good about it? Um, it says this cult product has bind three things that the skin loves retinol to smooth, vitamin C to even out tone, and vitamin E to nourish. That sounds good. Again, nothing wow, but yeah, I'm expecting real good things from that. I'm very excited to try it. Getting some very pricey products, aren't we? Okay, day number 12. Oh, and we've got a product from By Terry. This is another full size product and it's the Balm de Rose. I've never had this in full size. I've had this in miniatures so many times. This is really, really nice. I do like this product. Um, so this is a lip balm. It's incredibly rosy. I wasn't such a fan of the smell because um, it's quite overpowering, but the product itself is really nice. Uh, it says it takes a lot for lip care to stand out from the crowd but this one is something special a base of rose blossom wax leaves lips soft and smooth it is a really really nice product this is quite expensive as well i think yeah 40 pounds this is full size is 10 grams here so again expensive but very very nice product that's really nice to see in here um because yeah last year we did get quite a lot of miniatures of that but nice to see the full size version okay day 13 down here oh okay so day 13 we have got four year product so actually we got one of these in last year's calendar but this was like the final day and I think it was the same size actually. This is the Luna Plague Plus, uh, the original Tiny But Mighty T-Sonic Facial Cleansing Massager. Uh, this is fab. I absolutely love Foreo products. I have quite a lot of them now and I do actually have this little miniature one. Um, it is a really, really nice like, cleansing device. So you just use it when you're cleansing your face. You can put your cleanser onto this or you can put your cleanser on your face and then use this to massage the cleanser onto your skin. What I love about this is it's completely waterproof so you don't have to worry about getting any water in certain places on it. You can just put it under your tap, you can wash it. It is great. Um, it says it's deep yet gentle cleansing. It's a relaxing facial massage, ultra hygienic silicon, 
and suitable for all skin types. The only thing with this product is um, it's got batteries in it, so it's battery powered, and it says it lasts 400 plus uses, but then you can't change the battery. So once you've used it, then that's going to the bin. The full size Foreo products are rechargeable, uh, which obviously it's on so much better. This is a great way to try a Foreo products. They are quite pricey. And um, this one is £49, the Luna Plate Plus 2. And it's in this really nice pink colour. This is pearl pink. So this matches a couple of my Foreo products actually. I've already got this colour. Um, yeah, really, really, really nice device. I really like these. Um, yeah, fab little product. In the booklet it says, enhance your cleansing routine with this ergonomic tool which gives deep results alongside a facial massage. It feels amazing. You just press the button on the back, hold it down and it just vibrates, pulsates and it just helps cleanse your skin. And it's really nice, I like it. I wonder if everyone gets the same colour. It's kind of cute, it matches the advent calendar as well. Okay, day 14 is a bigger draw over here. Okay. So in day 14 we've got the Aroma Active Sleep Salt Soak. This has been doing the rounds this year in the advent calendars. Um, I actually used them the other day and it's really nice, it's quite strong. Um, it's 50 grams here, so it's basically a salt soak for the bath um, and it says it's formulated to aid those who struggle to fall asleep. You can really smell the lavender in this, it is really nice. Uh, yeah, it's quite strong, quite overpowering, but it's nice, I like it. Which is a good job because I've got quite a lot of these now. So this says a relaxing blend of essential oils in these salts means that it's just a scattering in your bath is enough to switch off stress and calm the mind. Yeah, it does have like oils in it as well because I noticed this. My skin did feel really soft after I'd used it the other day. But yeah, there's 50 grams in this one and this size is worth five pounds. We have a nice relaxing bath on the road to Christmas. Okay, day number 15. Oh, I've got one of my favorite products. This is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. It says it actually cleans hair, eliminates oil, sweat and odor, 92 ml. I've not seen this product for the longest time, but it is so, so nice. We went through a phase of getting lots of these in boxes and calendars. Um, and yeah, I've not seen it for ages, but I love this. This is great. And um, it says, this doesn't just mask the fact your hair is between washes. It actually fixes it by absorbing oil and sweat. It cleans your hair whilst adding volume. It is really, really good. Like it actually does what it says. So when I've used this before, my hair does actually feel clean. When I've used other dry shampoos, cheaper ones, it, you can feel like there's dry shampoo in it, but you use this and it doesn't. It feels amazing. Like I really, really like it. This size is worth 12 pounds. So it is a more pricey dry shampoo but it is definitely worth it it's so good but yeah really really like that i'm glad we've got one of those okay day 16 at the top oh this is cute we've got a little laura mercier product this is the blush color infusion in the shade ginger two grams is the sample not for sale um oh it's a really nice color this is what it looks like it's quite pale for a blusher you could probably even get away with that as a bronzer if you're quite fair skinned um yeah, I really like that. That's a nice shade. Cute little compact as well. Now they have actually allocated a price to this on the website and they've said it's £9.33. Now for me, it doesn't really have a value because it's a sample and you can get samples when you shop in the door um, and pick up little miniatures like this. Um, but, there we go. Um, this says, this soft shade gives a warm hint of colour to the cheeks or can be built up to a burnished, stronger finish. Try it as a rosy highlighter too. I mean, does it have shimmer in it? Mm, it's not really a shimmery kind of highlight product. I would just use that as a blush. That's a really, really nice color. Though. I really like that. I think we're doing well so far. Okay, day 17 is over here. Oh, I've got a candle. Okay. This is from Aromatherapy Associates. Hmm. I want to smell you. Oh, wow, that's strong. <laughs> that was kind of like keeping all the scent in. Hmm. Yeah, it's one of those. It just smells like aromatherapy associate products. Quite relaxing essential oil kind of vibes. Hmm, like a bathroom candle that. Um, so this says, it's made with a blend of grapefruit, rosemary and juniper berry essential oils. This candle is a perfect me time companion. Yeah, there's 85 grams here and this is worth 27 pounds this size. That's quite expensive, isn't it? I really, really like the, the pot that it comes in. So it's just got aromatherapy associates kind of like faintly printed you see that's just faintly printed on it um yeah really really nice packaging i really like that um yeah definitely a bath time kind of candle for me um yeah that's really cute i like that different candle as well it's not a neon one we have neon candles everywhere um okay number 18 then here in the pink oh we've got a double product here so here we have 
Uh, both from Sisley, it's the Hair Ritual by Sisley. We've got the Revitalizing Volumizing Shampoo and then the Restructuring Nourishing Balm. So I've got a little hair duo. That's what they look like. So these are 15ml each and together these are worth £15.50. The booklet says treat your hair with this shine inducing duo. A pre-wash balm to heal dry ends and a volumizing shampoo means that swishy hair is guaranteed. So it's not actually a shampoo and conditioner. So this restructuring nourishing balm is a pre-shampoo. Apply to dry hair once a week along the lens and on the ends, concentrating on damaged areas. Allow to penetrate well and leave in wet the hair then shampoo. Yeah, so it's like a pre-shampoo product. So yeah, maybe on a day when I know I'm gonna wash my hair, I can pop this in during the day um, and then wash my hair in the evening. Shampoo, apply a small amount to wet hair, massage into the scalp and through the ends, add water and lather. It's a shampoo. Um, yeah, that sounds really nice. So I've tried pre-shampoo treatments before, but never anything that's like a nourishing bar, more like a mask kind of treatment. So yeah, that should be interesting to try. I will report back on that one. Okay, number 19 is at the bottom. And we've got a Huda Beauty product. This is another full size product. This is the liquid matte lipstick in the shade Perfectionist. Oh, I like that. That is such a gorgeous color. Quite a basic color, quite everyday. I like it though. Yeah, it's not a red. Obviously some people will expect it to be red because it's obviously a Christmas advent calendar. Um, but I think people will probably get more use out of this one. Yeah, it looks like a really, really nice color. Look at that. Beautiful, it's kind of like a, a dusky pink. So last time we got the, it was either the eyeliner or the mascara from Huda Beauty, full size again in this calendar. Um, so it's nice to get another full size product, but something a little bit different this time. Um, the booklet says, this is the perfect non-drying, long lasting matte lipstick. The dusty pink shade is the ideal day to night color. Yeah, really nice shade. And this is 18 pounds of full size. I love the packaging as well, how it's in the lips. Really cute. Okay, day 20 is down here. And we've got, a miniature but it is a product from Dr. Barbara Sturm and it's a face cream 20 mil I've used this product before and it is really really nice it's just very expensive and um, really really gorgeous product though so this 20 mil is worth 55 pounds like that's how expensive it is it's crazy they say you can't get an appointment with the skin guru to the stars at Dr. Barbara Sturm this is a step closer her glow boosting moisturizer yeah it's a really really nice product got some really good ingredients for the skin and it feels really nice on the skin. I really, really like this. Shame it's just so expensive and it's quite miniature. <laughs> okay, 21 at the bottom here. And we've got a product from Lixa Skin. This is a Universal Emulsion. Day Moisturizer Night Cream Serum Base in One. So it's a three in one product. Um, I've seen this before, but I've never actually tried it. So I can't comment on it just yet. So this is 30 ml, it's worth £17.40, a bit of a random amount. The booklet says, the perfect travel companion, this do it all cream delivers and locks in moisture. Parched, dehydrated skin will be especially thankful. So yeah, it's a three-in-one product. Um, like it said, it's a travel companion, so it would be good if you're going away and you can't take your full skincare routine. This kind of does everything. Um, it says warm in the palm of your hand and apply to your face, eye contour, lips, neck, decollete, hands and arms. Like just literally just everything. You just need this. Who needs anything else? That's crazy. Yeah, if you're doing your arms as well and your neck and your everywhere else, it probably won't last too long. Um, but yeah. I would probably just use this as a night moisturizer if I'm honest, but that's just me. Okay, day 22 is up here. Oh, I like the look of this one. Okay, day 22, we've got a product from Warm On One Skin. This is the Rose Gold Brightening Facial Treatment Mask. I love this product. This is the packaging. So this is one mask, one application. It's 30 ml of serum in here. And this is another very, very expensive product, but it is, it is so nice. I just can't justify the cost of it though. This is £22 for this one mask. That's how pricey it is. The booklet says, if your goal is glowing skin, whose isn't? Then pop this mask on to grant your wishes. Doused in active ingredients, it leaves you radiant. It says, the hydrogel mask in combination with a 24 karat gold and damask rose extract works in powerful synergy to brighten, firm and optimise moisture levels. So it's a very hydrating face mask. And yeah, it is really, really nice. It's just so expensive. It's great. Um, yeah, diminishes the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, reinforces and protects the skin barrier function, rejuvenates and nourishes a lackluster skin. Yeah, fab, love it. Love it, just very pricey. Day 23, and it wouldn't be complete without a nail varnish, would it? So in day 23, we've got a nail varnish from Nails Inc. Uh, this is the it's one of the Nail Pure Vegan range, 10 free, and it's in the shade Victoria. I'm not sure if I've already got the shade. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like. So it's like a deep, 
and the deep berry shade. This says a treat for your nails, this deep cherry shade is delivered in a formula that is packed with calcium and zinc to boost talon strength. Yeah, this is a full size nail varnish. I think it's around the 15 pounds mark. Yeah, 15 pounds. I really like Nails Inc. There's two brands I really like on my nails and it's OPI and Nails Inc. I just find that those nail varnishes just last a really long time. I think I'm wearing a Nails Inc. one now actually, I've read one. They last a really long time, they don't chip, really easy to apply and yeah, they last ages. I love them. Um, gorgeous colours as well. This one is also vegan which is lovely. Okay, day 24, so Christmas Eve. Oh, I've got a treat on Christmas Eve. I've got three products. Three miniatures and these are all actually from Benefit and they're all mascaras. Bit random having three mascaras in one drawer but we can try them all out so we've actually got we've got bad girl bang we've got roller lash and we've got their real magnet so that's the packaging for all of those now i'm not going to open all these because i don't need three more mascaras open right now but i'll pop the images here so you can see what they look like so the first one is the bad girl bang mascara this is in the shade intense pitch black and uh, promises 36 hour full blast volume. I mean, the picture on the side looks incredible. The before and after, look at that. Uh, it says 90% saw dramatic volume. That sounds really good. Uh, this is a thin silicone wand, I think from memory, but you'll see it there. Next we have the Roller Lash. This is a super curling and lifting mascara. It's got a hook and roll brush. Okay, so it's got the brush on the side, obviously you can see a picture there, but that's what it looks like on the side. So again, slightly different. And then the final one is the Their Real Magnet Powerful Lifting and Lengthening Mascara. So the first one is more about volume, second one is more about curl, this one is more about lengths. It says mascara with a magnetic force that draws out lashes to extreme lengths. Uh, extend a brush with magnetically charged core, pulls the magnetic mineral enriched formula up and out beyond the tips of your lashes. That sounds amazing. Oh wow, another good before and after. Look at that, that's crazy. So yeah. That's nice. Um, so it's nice that we get to try three different ones from Benefit. Yeah, I mean, do you prefer three minis or would you prefer one full size? That's kind of up to you, really. Um, I don't mind actually trying all those, to be fair. It's a bit random getting three in one, but I suppose I'd rather have that than three separate drawers with a mascara in. And it is nice that we can try three different styles and see what we think. Okay, final day then, day 25. Christmas day, and we've got a huge product in here. Oh, I didn't tell you what the mascaras were. So the Bad Guy Bang is worth £8.65. The Roller Lash is $8.65 and the Their Real Magnet Mascara is $8.17. Okay, in day 25, we've got a product from Nessa Seho and it's the Body Wash, 250ml. This is £25, this is full size. Huge product. Uh, not really Christmassy on Christmas Day, but a really, really nice product. Fragrance free, I guess it doesn't have a scent then. Um, it's, it's a multivitamin, cleanse, nourish and balance. It's a daily multivitamin cleanser for the skin. Apply all over your body and massage for rich foam. Mm, that sounds really nice. It says you're likely to find this in many a beauty editor's shower. The silky vitamin and omega packed formula and chic packaging are hard to resist. It does look really nice, doesn't it? Like that in the bathroom. I like it. Um, this could have been a nice Christmas Eve one if you're having a bit of a shower, a bit of a pamper. But I mean, Christmas Day, you could you know, have it after Christmas. It will last a long time anyway. Um, yeah, I like that. Something a bit different on Christmas Day as well. That's nice. On the back of the booklet as well, it just tells you how to actually get the digital subscription to the magazine. I'm actually going to do that this time. I'm not going to miss out. But yeah, that is the L Magazine Beauty Advert Calendar for 2022 Unboxed. What do you guys think of it? I think it's a good calendar as always. Yeah, I think it's not my favourite, but it's not a bad calendar at all. I'm really happy with all of the products. In fact, I don't think there's anything that I'm not really excited about. So yeah, I think it's actually a really, really good calendar. Um, fab mix, as always, of skincare, hair care, makeup as well. We've got some really gorgeous full sizes, really different from the other calendars as well. It's not repeats, um, which is what we like to see. We've got the full size Bare Minerals, full size Huda Beauty. We've got Living Proof, which I haven't seen this year before, so that's amazing. Um, I really like the idea of the three mascaras on Christmas Eve as well, to try the different ones. Um, we've got the full size Mirad. We've got some really expensive, we've got U Beauty and the serum, the Mother Serum are from day one. Incredibly expensive, um, so fab way to try these very pricey products. Um, I love how we've got a Foreo device as well like last time and we've got the candle for a bit of a pamper night as well. Um, yeah, we've got masks, we've got nail varnish, we've got eyeshadow, we've got a bit of everything and I think it is a really nice mix. For the price as well, I think it is fab, um, especially for me paying 140 that was an absolute bargain. 
Even at 175, I still think this is a really good calendar. So comparing this to the calendars at the similar price point, then we've got the John Lewis one, we've got the Charlotte Tilbury one. Yeah, I think it is a really, really fab calendar. The only thing that I didn't like about this is the shipping. So I actually bought this on the 12th of September, and this arrived today, which is the 17th of October. There was no shipping estimate or anything like that. I did contact them after a couple of weeks, um, because I, obviously I'm buying it cheap, I'm thinking it must be a pre-order. But yeah, I contacted them after a couple of weeks, and they said they would start shipping on the 7th of October. And then mine actually shipped like two days ago. So yeah, that wasn't great. I had to actually chase it up. So it would have been nice to get an estimate. And also waiting over a month for it to come is quite a long time. So yeah, that's the only downside of this calendar, I think. Better shipping, better communication. But other than that, I think it is fab. Very happy with it again this year. And yeah, 10 out of 10, love it. So let me know all of your thoughts on this advent calendar in the comments down below. Let me know what your favorite products are. Let me know what you think of the range of products as well. What is your favorite? What don't you like? Um, do you like the idea of the three mascaras and what do you think of the four year device as well? Let me know all of your thoughts down below. Um, as always, if you did enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and also hit subscribe. Click the bell to be notified next time I post a video and I'll see you soon for another video.